Hello and welcome to our TEM user interface video. My name is Sean Mulligan and I am a Spock at PNCC. The TEM UI is located on the microscope PC and it controls the microscope. Controls are grouped into different modules known as object control interfaces. The work set, found at the left side of the screen, contains several user-defined tabs. Each tab contains up to four related control interfaces. For you, we have created a screening tab that contains controls for the autoloader, apertures, and beam. In addition to the work set, there is a bottom information panel that displays the current imaging mode, lens values, stage position, and even flue cam outputs like dose and screen current. All of this is customizable, but please do not change anything without staff permission. The bottom left corner displays the hand panel keybinds. Since we are controlling the microscope remotely, we'll use virtual hand panels that are launched by clicking the red icon on the taskbar. The most important button here is the eucentric focus button. The flue cam is found in the center of the screen and it's its own separate program. The flue cam is a live camera pointed at a phosphorus screen. It's useful for live adjustment of the beam such as centering, Let's talk about the screening tab in more detail. The autoloader control will display your sample names and allows you to exchange grids during your screening session. Although there are 12 slots, we load up to 11 of your sample grids. We keep one slot reserved for a cross grading replica. The autoloader control will display your sample name, and allows you to exchange grids during the screening session. Although there are 12 slots, we load up to 11 of your sample grids. This is because we reserve one slot for the cross grading replica. It's useful for tuning and calibrations. A procedure known as inventory is completed by the SPOC upon load. The inventory will check each position for the presence of the grid. If a grid is detected, the slot display is turned blue. If empty, gray. The currently loaded grid will appear as yellow and the stage icon blue. To switch grids, click the slot you would like to load and click load. The microscope will automatically exchange the two grids. This procedure takes approximately five minutes. The Aperture Control OCX is required for changing the C2 aperture. You cannot change the C2 aperture from the Serial EM interface. When collecting a low mag montage, you need to insert the 150 micron aperture. Any of the other apertures will cut off the beam. Right now I'll show you an example of what I mean. I'm going to insert the screen on the flue cam to get a live view of our currently loaded grid. The 150 micron C2 aperture is inserted and you can see the edge of the beam is outside of the red region that corresponds to the K3 camera. When I change the C2 aperture by clicking the drop down arrow and then 50 to load the 50 micron C2 aperture, you can see that the beam's edge is restricted to inside the field of view of the K3 camera. You cannot expand the beam further, the beam is cut off. Changing back, changing now to the 70 micron aperture, you'll see a similar effect. The 150 micron C2 aperture should always be inserted before collecting a low mag montage. The other apertures available are the objective apertures. They can be used to increase contrast during imaging, but are not necessary. The selected area aperture is useful for diffraction experiments. We will not cover it at this time. The Beam Settings OCX displays the selected imaging mode and current spot size. Spot size is the C1 lens value, broken down from 1 to 11, 11 being the most co coherent and thus
dimmest. The most important button in the beam settings OCX and the reason that it is included in the screening tab is the reset beam button. The reset beam button is useful for situations where you have lost the beam and is no longer over the camera. With the screen inserted, you can see the edge of the imaging beam to the left. When I press reset beam, it will return back to the center. On behalf of PNCC, I want to wish you good luck and happy imaging.